So after yesterday's stream, I've seen much feedback on various different segments of new features to the game come Shadow Keep. Mostly good feedback, I will state. Today I want to address people's concerns with certain mods only being equipable on certain armors and so forth, and also address a few other issues. How's it going guys, my name is DBJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps out and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the stream yesterday demonstrated how Armor 2.0 will work with Shadow Keep, and the feedback from the community has been great, besides a couple of issues people seem to be having. One I keep seeing pop up on my Twitter feed was about the lady who played Warlock and her socks and how it was disrespectful to viewers. I mean people, is this actually a thing? People seriously complaining about a woman being comfortable while playing a game? I mean people relax, this wasn't the Queen's speech for flip's sake, please go find something else to bitch about. There's plenty going on in the world which you can spend your time on instead of trying to make a point of a woman's socks and PJs pissing you off. Jesus. Okay, so besides that, the other thing I'm seeing people not sure about is the fact it seems certain mods will drop with elemental burns attached to them, i.e. a void sniping targeting mod, an arc shotgun ammo finder mod, a solar auto rifle ammo finder mod, and so forth. I can confirm to this actually being the case, and while many people think this is a bad thing, in reality it's truly not for the direction they are taking the game, but we will get more into this in a few minutes. Another issue about these mods I'm seeing people have and state and actually confused about is something that's said on stream by one of the devs. Take a listen. With the Solstice gear, the hunter uh, will um, automatically roll with arc energy and arc actually has an affinity with shotguns and so this actually ties those two things in really well. So he states, Ark has an affinity with shotguns, and going back over the stream, this does indeed seem to be the case, and it ain't just with shotguns either, each element seems to have a select set of weapons tied to that element, and this is what I made out via going back over the entire stream. With solar, we have fusion, linear fusion, auto rifles, submachine gun and rocket launchers, void, hand cannons, scout rifles, sidearms, grenade launchers, and sniper rifles, and arc, we have shotguns, bowls, LMGs, and and pulse rifles. Now it is important to note that there are also mods that require no element and can be equipped to any armor type. So with this being the case it seems as though certain armors will drop with a certain energy element. What I am hoping is, and let's use the vanguard armor for instance with my class the hunter, that the hunter vanguard armor isn't locked to a single energy type. Because without the randomization of armor energies, in reality Bungie are going back on their word of this. So in Shadow Keep, what we're doing is changing the way that armor perks and mods work pretty significantly. Right now in the game, if you have an armor set that you like the look of, but you have another armor set that you like the way it plays, you're probably going to pick the one that you like the way it plays. Armor 2.0 is focused on allowing you to take the mods that you've unlocked and apply them to any given piece of armor. When I move my cursor over one of these mod sockets, it immediately shows me all of the mods that are available to me. We actually won't be able to look the way we want and use the mods we want or setup we want to use, if certain armors are indeed locked to a certain energy type. I truly hope this is not the case. Another instance of the stream which may confirm this actually being reality is this. And let's go through this. And so for this one, uh, this one's actually solar because it's a uh, exotic. And so exotics can roll with any of the different energy types. So what this insinuates is the fact exotics can drop with random energies. He goes out of his way to make this point. No one makes this point about legendaries. This I feel if true won't go down too well. Let's hope we get a little more clarification on this very soon indeed. Another issue I saw people mention was the fact you cannot now stack let's say shotgun scavenger to boost your ammo pickups. This is true, you can't like many thought apply the same mod twice to the same armor piece and it seems as though now scavenger perks are only available on leg armors. However there are new perks which have been added to the game, like this one we see on screen now which is a shotgun ammo finder, but this comes with rocket launcher, auto rifle and so forth, and these apply to helmets. This mod increases your chance of finding ammo while having a certain weapon equipped, but yeah it seems as though we cannot now stack two of the same mod, 
but can substitute certain mods and make room for others which may work similar. Okay, so let's go back to what I started the video with. Not the pajamas and socks, but the certain mods being tied to certain energy elements. Now if the case of legendary armor pieces can drop with random energy elements, I don't think this is a bad choice whatsoever. Only for the fact of when we actually obtain these certain mods, they are ours forever. You only have to unlock each once. They then can be applied to an infinite number of armors matching the element required for a cost of 500 glimmer. So once you have them all, there is nothing else left for you to chase. It's just a case of now waiting to see with legendary armors and if they do drop with random energy elements. Because if this isn't the case, we can't truly look how we want to look and play with the setup we want to play with. And I have no issue with the fact weapon mods for the most part are tied to a specific energy as long as a legendary armor set does have a chance of dropping random elemental burns. And that is that people. Guys tell me your thoughts on this down below within that comments section. As soon as I have any updates uh, I will have you covered right here on my channel. One thing I can see happening though is Bungie adding armors to the menagerie as within this PvE activity people can decide the elemental burns armors drop with. So definitely keep that in mind when shadow keep drops people. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.